welcome back. Hope you all had a good week. Um, I apologise in advance for the noise that's outside. I did have my windows open and then I heard lots of screaming and yelling and I thought, no, I just shot them. Um, so, apologise for any noise in the background. What we're going to do today is we are just going to connect up with Spirit. Going to use a couple of cards, just kind of see what comes out. Going to see what Spirit want you to know about you and your situations and what's kind of going on. So we'll still work with the decks, we'll still work with the strongest mutual energy um, and we'll just kind of see what they say, see what comes over. They've asked me to pick quite earthly decks for you guys today. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. Woo, if you can pick your deck. So we'll still use the cards but we're just going to connect more with spirit with the universal energy see what they say about your situations and how to move it forward um, and <laughs> as always it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you also number one number two um, we'll dip into all your energies we'll dip into all your people's energies and spirit will connect with that strongest energy between you all so let us go so the first thing that spirit are saying with deck number one is that it is a case of tough love love tough love um, it hasn't been the easiest thing for, for you guys, and it hasn't been easy for them either. But we're talking more about you and what's happening in your situations and what's going on with you. And they're saying that, um, you know, sometimes you feel like you're having a, you're trying to make it work and things are trying to you're trying to push things forward and you feel like you're being hit by stumbling blocks all the way along every time you you move a step forward it's a different deck um, you feel like you're doing about three steps backwards and that's why they're saying it's tough love it's also talk they're also talking about it being a more divine connection and through that obviously we're here for the experiences it's not about the end result it's about the journey like we only want five cards one, two. So you're working a lot with universal energies at the moment. I'm not sure if you guys know that. If you don't know that, please be aware that you are working with universal energies. And that's why it's important um, with manifesting that you only hold a negative, well, the thoughts for 17 seconds if it's something negative. You're actually quite in your power on a spiritual um, standpoint at this moment. And because of that, the universal energies are flowing strong around you, which means um, that you're manifesting at a super rapid rate. So please be aware of your thought processes. So what they're saying is it's been a bit of a dark time. You're coming out the other end of it now. You're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And when you're starting to feel better about it, your person is starting to reflect that mirroring energy back and they're starting to feel in a more negative frequency in a lower vibration and through that that means that kind of your the scales are being tipped back into your favor so you've been in this low part your people have been okay-ish and now the scales are tipping back round and through that tipping point that means that action is then going to be created from your person towards you it's not quite yet it's going to be not going to be massively far depending on what action you're willing waiting for them to take a couple a few of you is going to be a couple of weeks a few of you you're looking about three or four months and a few of you beyond that probably about six to eight months um, majority of it is falling at a, in in the weeks um and the months the majority of that is falling in weeks and months okay so not quite yet but with the scales re-tipping your people are having a few dark nights of the soul they're working through their darker energies um, and that is then going to make them create action towards you and you'll be feeling more in your power because of the universal energies that you're working with you're going to start standing strong in your power strong in your energy and um, any kind of mask that you've had on about um, how a lot of you have been wearing masks about how you wanted to be perceived how your person should perceive you and it's like well, there's nowhere for these falsities to hide anymore so everything's kind of coming up to the surface to be cleared within you and with your person as well and the masks are starting to drop and um, it's more so with your person than you but some of you have been wearing a mask because you haven't wanted um, either them to see how much you've been affected or you haven't wanted other people to see how much you've been affected and these masks are now starting to drop you're standing at a crossroads you're not sure which direction you guys are meant to be taking um, and spirit are saying to make sure that you are following your own intuition in which direction you need to take okay so not your head not your heart follow your intuition follow your own guidance you're more strong in this situation than what you're giving yourself credit for you're more in control of the situation than what you're giving yourself credit for um and you're more in control of your emotions than what you're giving yourself credit for yes it has been up and down yes it is still a bit up and down uh, i just heard patty cake patty cake i don't 
I don't actually know the lyrics to Pat a Cake, Pat a Cake. I just heard that. But you're starting to um, feel more on top of your game. You're standing more in your strength. And you're kind of letting the universe take control of that. And with you kind of releasing the situation as well, um, that release then means that the universe and spirit and the other energies and entities can bring, beautiful entities obviously, not the dodgy ones, can bring that vibration to you of what you are manifesting. So <laughs> you're coming out of a, a darker period, you're working quite heavily with universal energies, you're standing in your strength, you're standing in your power, and um, things are starting to move in the right direction. And whilst you're feeling better, your person's echoing that energy on the mirroring side of things that they're starting to feel worse. They're starting to go through their doubt nights of the soul. They're doing a lot of soul searching and they're working out what direction they should be going in. Whereas you are more in control of your emotions and because you're starting to release the situation, you created space, which then means that the universe can uh, match it. Once space is created, uh, the universe has to match it with something equal to it or more than. So if you release the situation, then space is being created for this to come back to you or something new to step in. <coughs> Through that, you then have movement. Um, make sure that you're taking part in the lighter things in life. Don't get too bogged down with the heavy energies uh, that some people can place on you. A lot of you are empaths and people come to you when they need that advice and that guidance. Uh, please don't take on board their energies. A lot of you, uh, you, you're like sponges. You know, I haven't said this for a while, but you guys are sponges. Um, so what happens is when people throw energies at you, you kind of get that gets absorbed into your sponge and it gets absorbed into your energy. So say someone's having a bad time in their romance life. In into your sponge, your person's upset you, into your sponge, and it starts affecting your energy. Again, which is why we talk about keeping your energies clear. Please make sure that you are saying return to sender and you are sending that energy back to the people that are giving it to you. Um, it's not, and if nothing bad will happen, nothing like that, but basically what you're doing is you're just absorbing other people's energies that aren't your own, making them your own, you're thinking that it is you, and then that's weighing your energy down a little bit. So please make sure that you are returning it back, okay? In the returning, nothing happens because it just takes it out of your energy because it's just going back to the people that, that sent it to you in a way. It's subconscious, it's all psychic energy, um, but you just need to be aware to return it back. Uh, spending time with friends and family and keeping yourself occupied and busy will keep releasing the energy of the situation. I hate saying this because I think so many people say it and it's really, really generic, but Spirit are actually talking about spending more time outdoors. Um, a lot of you have, are quite outdoorsy people, but recently, because everything's been quite bogged down, you've been feeling quite heavy, you've been staying indoors a lot more than what you should have done. So go and get some fresh air, uh, get some prana into your energy, breathe it in, breathe it out for the count of four. Um, and that will start getting those universal energies flowing back through your system as well. And through that, you then have the star and the sun, the cards are really good. Um, movement back towards you, things are happening. It's almost like it's, I hate the word fated, but to a degree it's fated. It's written in the stars. Uh, spirit know what is going to happen uh, with you guys, and as your as your mutual energy, whatever it is that you are waiting for, it is going to come towards you. As long as you stay in that higher vibration and you stay in that positive frequency, then it will come towards you. Try not to put a time limit on it. I know we've already given you timings, but if you put timing on it, again, you're not. You're not creating space, so the universe can't bring it to you. Um, you're also pressing pause on it yourself because you're like, well, it's got to be then. And if it's not then, I can't, it's not going to happen. So try not to put a timing on it. Let the universe take control of it. They've just shown me a jigsaw um, and it's like the jigsaw pieces have all got to fit into place to see the bigger picture. And at the moment, you're kind of only seeing half of the half of the jigsaw. You're not seeing your other person and what they've been through and what they're going through. Very you know, we have the tendency to be a little bit one-sided from perspective, and that's what they're saying. Try and see it from the other person's perspective, because the way they have acted, a lot of them, there is a reason behind that, okay? There is more underlying reasons than you are aware about. Too many for a mutual energy on that for this, for this reading, um, but if you wanted to look at that in individual readings, we can do that for you. Um, the masculine energy uh, is going to be standing firmer once they've kind of gone through this dark night of the soul and they've done this bit of soul searching, they're going to be standing further in their power. They're going to know what they want and they're going to go and reach for it and get it. Which is why Spirit is saying again, use the energies that you are being given. Use the universal energies. Manifest what you want. Bring them to you if that is what you want. Or if you don't want that and you want something different, tell the universe what you want, 
not what you don't want because you're very, very powerful with universal energies at the moment and you're taking it all in and into your energy, including other people's, and you're getting a little bit muddled up. So please try to be a little bit more specific in your mind about what it is that you want and visualize it, etc., etc. And if you want a manifesting plan doing, just give us a shout. But if you're doing it by yourself, um, stay in those, those, make sure you're telling the universe that this is what you want, not what you don't want, okay? It's like the word, I don't, you know, know, or I don't want to be, let's try to think of something. Um, so for Lou, let's say you, uh, you want the contact coming because you haven't heard from them and you're saying, what would it take for no contact to end? but you're saying no and a contact. So what you're doing is you're manifesting the no contact. And even though you've thrown the word end on it, the universe is only picking up the certain frequencies of the no and the contact. So you need to be very, very specific about what you are asking for. Um, your person's gonna be standing further in their power, movement towards you. You just keep doing exactly what you are doing working with those energies, moving yourself forward. It's moving in the right direction. Don't put a timing on it. Let the universe take charge of it, but it's coming in your favour. Whatever it is that you're specifically asking for, and it might not even be to be to do with romance, it could be to do with work or anything like that. Tell the universe what you want, not what you don't want, and let it come to you. You know, you're coming out of this darker period. Your people are about, well, are, are nipping into these dark nights of the soul. That is the awakening time. That is their processing time. And that is the time when they feel vulnerable. And through that vulnerability, there's going to be that need to reach out to someone that is empathic and understanding, which will be you. Keep strong. Keep strong. Anything else? Uh, we've got, that was a hymn. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm universal, not religious, but I just got, uh, make me a channel of your peace, spirit of giving that to you, um, be at peace with kind of where you are at the moment and let things flow, you know, let it grow, you are the channel, you are the channel of peace on the planet, try and see the bigger perspective, especially those of you into inflame relationships, like they said, it's not the journey, no, it's not the destination, it's the journey to get you there, what you learn and how you can help other people that are going through similar situations. So make, yeah, make me a channel of your peace. Okay, and that's step number one. Lots of love from my guides and your guides and everyone to you. Right, let's do deck number two, 12.30. So, um, as I was just saying with deck number one, what we're going to do is I'm only, gonna, I'm only going to pull a few cards. We're just going to channel with spirit, see what they say to you. It's about what you need to know. Uh, largely, it'll be based around romance and love because obviously we're a romance channel. Um, but just see what kind of comes up, see what they say for you. Okay, can I have... As always, strongest mutual energy anyway. Can I have five cards, please? One. Okay. I just got steady as she goes. Is it the raccoon? The raccoons. Stead steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. It's not the raccoons. It's something like that. Just reminded me of that uh, kids program with those purple raccoons that we had in England. No, let's have one more. Okay, so where we're going with this, Spirit is saying that um, it's an important time for you guys to just go with the flow of the situation. Please release expectation of where you're going and what you want, etc, etc. Because if you're holding on to that expectation of this has got to happen at this set date, as I've said in deck number one, you're not creating space so the universe can't bring it to you. You have to release expectation. Expectation is kind of the key thing that can hurt you. Um, there is a knowing, there is an understanding, there is a, a being aware of what is to happen. But having expectation on it is going to be kind of detrimental to you and your energy and which way you're moving things forward. You've got to just go with the flow of the energy at the moment. Um, you are in this quite maternal energy. I know some of you are masculine energy, some of you are feminine energies. The majority of you watching are the divine feminine, but please remember it's never sexually orientated or gender specific. You're standing in quite a maternal energy at the moment and you're feeling the need to kind of either protect your person, look after your person, um, guide your person, 
support your person, that kind of maternal energy is coming forward and that is creating a little bit of internal conflict with you and with your person. Your person, even though they do need all of these things, um, is not a person that really kind of wants that mothering aspect being brought into their life at the moment. They see you in this very sexual, uh, beautiful, frisky, um, flirty, fun type energy. That's how they want to perceive you. And sometimes they can worry that you want too much from them, that you want to guide them in the right direction and that this maternal energy is too strong for them. Um, and Spirit is saying, you know, they've already have this, this person in their life, someone that they can speak to. It might not necessarily be a mother, but someone that they can speak to from that kind of support maternal link. So don't make it about, don't put that onto them as well because what they'll feel you're doing is trying to change their life for them and they've got to work it out for themselves. So please just try to release this maternal energy and go with the flow of the situation, release expectation and wait to see how it plays out. But step away from the maternal energy because that is putting conflict in into their thoughts, into their heart. And it's also making you feel a little bit uneasy because some of them, if you're in contact, they are withdrawing. Uh, some of them are blowing hot and cold with you they are just um they want this relationship to be how you you guys are with that really passionate sexual hurricane tornado energy which can be a little bit detrimental but they want that they don't want this mothering nurturing smothering type energy so if you are keep on texting them and keep calling them please just relax with it let them come to you if they withdraw you withdraw if they uh, talk about emotions then you can talk about emotions if they talk about um how they need space then you know give them space tell them that you're really busy anyway get more into the power of this situation because this person your people have got very strong feelings for you they have a lot of respect for you they care about you it might not feel like that but they do they care about you deeply but it's like this mixed match of energies at the moment. You know, you're wanting one thing, they're wanting the other thing. You both want the end goal being the same, but you're both going about it very, very different ways, which is making your person withdraw. So please be conscious of that. Um, stepping out of this maternal energy, stepping out of this in, uh, supportive, instinctual energy. And just being there, you know, being that person that they fell in love with. Or have these feelings for going back to basics spirit are saying um it's kind of like you guys have got to go back to the start where your relationship started and where it blossomed from not to where you are now but going back to that initial energy that initial feeling that initial i caught sight of you it was perfect going back into that initial energy and it will move the situation forward whereas if it's in this kind of i'm not saying that you need you or anything like that please don't get me wrong but if it gets into this maternal instinct energy you know what it was like when the uh, majority of you will know what it was like when you were a kid and uh, you wanted to go and es escape the house didn't you and you were trying to sneak out the window and stuff and your mum would text and call and say where are you what are you doing what's going on and then you'd cry and she'd be there going you know let me be with you let me support you and as a teenager it's kind of not what you want as you get older you realize your mum's your best friend mine is my total best friend and um, but you really you know at that point in time it's not particularly what you want and that's the same energy that's coming through with your person they need you to be standing very independent very secure and not putting that needing energy on them because if they do that they feel like they have to prove something to you they feel that they have um, expectations that they have to reach because of you and it puts pressure on them and at the moment they don't want that pressure because they're working through their own issues working at, uh, through everything that's kind of gone on in their life coming out the other side of it but if they're getting that pushing on top it's just overwhelming them so please don't back them into a corner if you're not in contact etc etc it is temporary uh, your helixes are going to be coming back around and um, so if that doesn't resonate yet about the maternal instinct please be aware then they come back in contact not to step into that maternal energy um, it's this helix energy of kind of going in and out of each other's lives and at the moment you're about to cross you're about here you're about to cross and you'll move in and out again. Um, those of you that are third parties, again, still kind of same energy. Please uh, be aware what energy you are putting on your person. And it's going to be a case of actions and words as well, Spirit is saying. So, um, you know, you could say to them, um, uh, I'm not going to text you, I'm going to give you space. Well, I'm going to give you space, let you sort your head out. But if you're texting them for, like five times a day, six times a day, you're not giving them that space. So you need to make sure your actions marry up with your words as well. Um, stepping into that initial energy of when you first got together, the passion that was between the two of you.
and from that your person will then realize that uh, they have these you know these feelings are going to come up to the surface they're not going to feel so pressurized and you and them will start making links forward and moving forward and hopefully your helix won't go back you'll just be able to move forward in the right direction um, there is choices and decisions that are going to have to be made your person is going through this period of transformation at the moment as are you you're putting deep roots into the earth you're grounding yourself um, you know what you want some of you are starting to doubt what you want as well because you've gone there's been so much water under the bridge you're thinking actually you know what is this worth it is it worth it and um but you're feeling more grounded with the situation you're feeling that it's going to play out in the right direction you're trying to some of you yes yeah, some of you are trying to release the expectation you've gone into that non-judgmental let's see what happens majority of you there's expectation some of you there isn't um it's like at the moment you're kind of just seeing the tip of the iceberg your person is seeing the tip of the iceberg with you and there's a whole load of berg that has got to be shown uh, for them to express to you what's going on in their heart what's going on in their head they're only telling you the very very tip of the iceberg um, but as time progresses time is going to be your biggest weapon here I know a lot of you don't want the timing time and time is you know man-made in a way but time is going to be your biggest weapon in your person coming back towards you or making offerings or things you know it's basically at this moment you just got to go with the flow of the situation see how it unfolds, see what happens you're on the right path spirit is saying and that's a general mutual energy you're all on the right path and um, you might feel like you're going backwards and forwards but focus that energy back towards you that energy focus on you will then shift your person in the direction of you as your helixes entwine they're saying um, they're also just showing me a monkey crawling up trees um, and they're saying they said this in kind of deck one they showed but they showed a different clairvoyant image they're saying be the monkey climb to the top of the tree and see the bigger picture of it all you know at the moment you're very you're, you're sitting in the monkey monkey's eyes and you're just seeing one side or the other side or what's right in front of you and you're not seeing the bigger picture so they say make sure you're the monkey that climbs to the top of the tree gets the advantage and sees the bigger picture pre-warned is forewarned the more you know um, about the situation and how it's going to happen and what you are um, what direction it's going to go in the wet, more you can release expectation and the more you can go with the flow of it it's kind of having an awareness and knowledge and an trust and understanding rather than expectation you know um there is no reason why um sorry my dog's just making she <laughs> She makes a bed, she sits there and pulls the bed, it's because spirit energy as well, it's like she's digging in the undergrowth as well. There's no reason why you should be over, like a lot of you will be overly worried because you're letting your thoughts take control, but spirit is saying there's no reason why you should be overly worried about this situation because um, it will come back round when the time is right. It's this period of transformation, um, it's this period of the, you, you're kind of being born from the chrysalis, your people are still in the chrysalis of this butterfly at the moment, but they are going to transform form and they're going to break free and they're going to come towards you now if they ask you for support that's different okay so if they say to you what would you advise or what do you think then you know you can give them that support if they retreat let them because they're going to be going into their man cave or hermit mode to work out what is right for them and what direction they want to take and you won't be able to talk to them whilst they're in this man cave hermit mode because it's like this walls up it's like this you're trying to get through to them and they've got their block up and you won't be able to do that so you're best off waiting for them to come out if you're thinking oh if i don't text them i'm not going to hear from them again uh, try not to stress about it obviously we can look at it in an individual reading um but the majority of you you will hear from them if it's happened before and they've come back before what there's no reason why it shouldn't happen again so having a little bit more trust and faith in the situation going with the flow of it see how it plays out Try not to mother them. Sorry if that came through as a bit of a rollicking from my guides um, and from your guides, but it's important that you know these things. Um, your helixes are going to entwine. You're feeling more grounded. They're having a period of transformation. See the whole picture rather than just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more that needs to be unveiled here. There's a lot more to this situation than what they are letting on. And there's a lot more from your perspective than they that you are letting on as well. A lot of you haven't spoken to them about really what's happened and where it's going, etc, etc. So there's a lot more to this situation to come. It's not over. It is going to be, history will repeat itself, Spirit is saying. But this time, try to, um, this time you've got more chance of getting it right. Okay, so healing says are coming back round, pushing together. 
you both want the same things, you just go about it very, very different ways. Um, if you could read a book, we would suggest you read The Five Love Languages by someone or other. Uh, that's a book about how we love people in the way we want to be loved and how they love us in the way that they want to be loved and, and we don't get that middle ground between us and that's kind of what's happening here it's that I not miscommunication but a misunderstanding of what each other wants and not seeing the other person's perspective and not seeing the bigger picture so go with the flow of it release expectation try and see the bigger picture have a little bit of faith and trust go with the flow of it you're grounded stay grounded with it all Remember who you are, okay? Remember that you are a uh, human. No, you're not. You're a spirit having a human experience, not a human having a spirit experience. Remember who you are. Remember how far you've come in your life. Let the universe take control and it will shift in the right direction for you when the time is right. Again, time is your biggest weapon here. A lot of you are going to say, oh, I wish it was today, I wish it was tomorrow. We understand that. Um, but the longer time you give it, the more this is going to work in your favour. Less is more. The less you give, the more you will get back in return. And that's step number two. So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to find me on Instagram, that's just mysticlovetarot. Website is www.mysticlovetarot.com. Uh, much love from my guys, your guides, and everyone from the higher dimensions towards you. Uh, please be cautious of the advice that they have given you. Please be aware of it. Please, um heed it is probably the right word please heed the advice that spirit are given um, and watch it play out all right guys lots of love take care bye